will will butcher step back in butcher is in all likelihood in uh have one more conversation with him but i think he's good to go when it comes to miller and pisick do you know yet if which one of those two is going to sit or is no that... I, I i don't know well miller miller in all likelihood is in i mean he felt fine he could have played the other night uh but again just just why have a guy play on fatigue when he hasn't played in two months so that was the only reason he wasn't. So we'll, we will put Miller back in, uh, but that, you know, until I have a further conversation with guys after skate here, I can't confirm who's in, who's out yet. Mark, where to sit? Would that be coach's decision, management's decision? Everybody yeah, no, I, I, I don't even, right? yeah, boy, that's a, that's a weird question, I guess. In my, in my brain, it, it's a yeah. weird question. That's not, it's a legitimate question, but, but uh, yeah, um, no, it wouldn't be, I guess it's a it's a weird day anyway um, with things going on and Kevin and I will still talk again. Obviously, you know Robert got traded this morning. Um, there's teams talking about to teams throughout the whole league, so that's why I say it's just an odd day as far as um, who knows something could happen uh, by game time tonight. Uh, but but that's part of the reason why I just can't. Yeah, so I can't confirm a lineup because it just can't do it yet. So. Not Robert. because I wouldn't want to, John. I just can't do it. That's all. You mentioned Robert. What did he bring when he yeah. was here? Robert was here? was uh, really good. I mean, he he is a guy that uh, was very committed. As I said, he came into Buffalo a month and a half early, was excited, and uh, he was a hardworking. You know, uh, you know, he he blocked shots and he was ready for practice every day and. Uh, added added uh, some some life and energy from the compete side. You know he was a, he's a competitive guy, and um, you know so we certainly wish him well, and uh, we certainly appreciate the uh, commitment he had. Uh, you know when he put that jersey over his head, he was committed as as anybody. You mentioned a weird day. Do you get the sense they feel it too? In there, yeah, I'm, I'm sure some guys do. Um, obviously, guys for sure, guys that are going into UFA throughout the league and teams that uh, aren't looking into the, you know into a playoff this this year. Uh, I'm sure all of those guys have have it going. It's somewhere in their mind uh, on a day like today and, and tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, a lot of the elements that Hag brought. Is similar to what Samuelson brings, whether it's killing penalties, just being hard to play against. So what do you think about the way that Samuelson played in Calgary? I thought you know, Samuelson. Um, I, I think you guys and anybody that's listened to me from day one last year with Samuelson, he is, he is a, uh, he is a very very important part of uh, success. I mean, when he's in the lineup for us, we are a much more successful team in just areas of. You know, defensive uh, responsibilities. He's an incredible athlete. His size and strength and reach uh, exceeded the average of the NHL from day one. I mean, he's big and strong. Upon entry in the NHL, he was already stronger than the average NHL player, and you could see that. So physically, he gets on a guy and can uh, disrupt them, take a puck away, uh, and and transition well. So he he's he is uh, very very impactful, uh, helping us win games from day one being in the lineup, so. Yeah, it's not every day you see somebody push Kachuk off the puck that way. No, he, he's dry sidle, and I mean, we watch all these guys on film before we play them, you know, Matthews and these big, uh, uh, Landis Gag was another one, these big, strong guys, Patrice Bergeron, I can remember last year, extremely strong on his skates, and then you, Matthias gets out there and he can knock, you know, he just, it's almost like the first time those guys played against him, they turned around and and we're like, who, who is that? You know, so uh, I- impressive. He's got many impressive attributes. So, you know, for me as a coach, the more the more minutes that guy gets, and the more important minutes, the more he'll calibrate and recalibrate because the the talent is there, and uh, and the foundation is there. He knows his position extremely well. Uh, his work habits are good. So it's it's more of getting him big minutes. To, to calibrate, you know, how, how smart is this guy? How quick is that guy? How, how strong is that guy? Uh, and, and he figures that out really fast because he's a talented guy. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Yeah.